what's shaking, baby? Is a revolver or an automatic more reliable? Ask any AARP member and they will tell you that a revolver is six for sure. Is it though? I mean, seriously. Is a revolver or an automatic substantively any more reliable than the other? Best way to find out, I think, is to test both. Both of these guns, the Smith & Wesson Shield and Smith & Wesson 638, have been carried extensively by myself and my wife. They're both great carry guns. I don't want to disparage either one of them. And I didn't want to have any sort of brand bias, so I picked the same manufacturer for these guns. They're both carried a lot already. It's already been a couple of months since the last time I maintained either one of these. Then I wrapped them up in a sock, filled it with dryer lint, wrapped it in even more socks, threw it in the dryer for, I don't know, like an hour or so. Get lots and lots and lots of pocket lint on both of them. Took them out, shot them both, and well, here we go. All right, so I don't think that surprises anybody. Of course, both of them can be carried for years and years without any maintenance whatsoever, and they're gonna be fine. Of course they ran just fine. But that's not exactly a worst case scenario, so let's chuck them in some dirt and see what happens. First, we're gonna need some dirt. So let's dig some dirt up. The real question is what happens if something out of the ordinary happens to these guns and they get extraordinarily dirty or abused, which one's going to keep going? Like say for instance you're out hiking and you take a spill, gun comes out of the holster, ends up like just pile of dirt and assholes and elbows. All right, so this thing was not really dry firing very well. I have to push the trigger forward each time or cock a hammer manually. The trigger is not returning very well, but let's see how it goes. You see how I have to push the trigger forward? I thought that was... <clears throat> there it goes. Oh, one more. Okay, I was eventually able to make all of them fire, but <laughs> that's not a super confidence inspiring. However, after blasting some of that stuff around in here, maybe, maybe it'll run the next five a little bit better. Let's give it a shot. I think that was all of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was interesting. All right, let's give this one a shot, as it were.
Okay, so they both choked like a lot lizard. Both of them could get some rounds out, but neither one of them was exactly flawless. However, there is some maintenance you can do with an auto that you can't really readily do in the field with the revolver. And that is a little drop of oil on the inside of each slide rail. Just a tiny drop. I didn't disassemble it. Did the same thing for the magazine, ran the follower all the way down and put just a little tiny drop of oil on the inside of the magazine body. Again, didn't disassemble anything, just a tiny drop of oil, work the parts a little bit and let's see if we can get it shooting again. <laughs> oh shit, boomers. Looks like you were wrong. Uh, again, they both choke if they get dirty. Again, <laughs> you get any gun dirty enough, it's just not gonna run. But you can maintain an automatic in the field. You can get it working again. That's not something you can do with, with a revolver. When a revolver gets buggered up, it stays that way until you've got the time and the tiny little screwdrivers to get that some bitch apart and get all of the gunk out of it. The whole revolvers are super reliable thing no matter what, bullshit. And yeah, sure, fine, there are a lot of other conditions we could test. We could do the in-range Ian and Carl mud test on them and maybe the revolver would do better, or the auto would do equally bad or who knows. There, I'm sure there are conditions in which the revolver is more reliable than the automatic, but at least as far as just carrying it around, lint and crud and stuff, they're both gonna run just fine. And as far as like getting it good and dirty, like maybe, I don't know, it, it fell out of your pack while you were hiking or something and it, and it got a fair amount of sand in it, the revolver's probably not going to run as well as the automatic. It just has so much less little spaces between the parts that it's a lot easier for it to get literally jammed up. <laughs> Uh, and of course, you know, maybe a shrouded hammer, double action only revolver might have done better or all sorts of other variables. But the bottom line is that the, the myth that revolvers are always more reliable than automatics, busted. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you found it entertaining or perhaps maybe even informative for some reason, please consider supporting our sponsors. Ventura Munitions graciously provided all of the ammunition that I used in this test, and we are grateful for their support. We're grateful for your support as well, and in this current environment where YouTube is trying to silence people with our point of view, your support matters more than it ever did. Please consider supporting our sponsors, as well as, of course, liking, sharing, subscribing, and all of those sort of engagement factors that help show YouTube what sort of content you like to watch. Have a great day.